To prep myself for the surgery, uh, first and foremost, I had to give up soda. That was huge for me because before surgery, I was drinking a 12 pack of Diet Coke a day. And so I went cold turkey on the soda, which was very, very difficult, but I made it through. Um, I gave up bubble gum. You give up drinking out of a straw. You have to learn to eat your meals and take 30 minutes to eat your meal. And when I'm exercising, I try and walk outside as much as possible. We have a treadmill in the house, so when it's rainy or snowy, I can still you know, walk inside. Uh, once in a while, I get out in the yard and play soccer with my daughters. Uh, and I like to bike. The last year, I was biking almost 11 miles a week. It was probably six months into it, and I kind of got to a point where I stopped losing weight for a little while and was kind of getting not sure what was going on. I thought, I'm going to go to one of these support groups. And um, I went to my first support group, and I don't think I've missed a month since because I realized that, yes, my husband is very supportive, and my family is very supportive, my friends are very supportive, and you know, everybody's, you know, thinks, oh, it's great, you're losing all this weight and whatever. But um, none of them have been there. And honestly, I thought it was gonna be one of those scenarios where we sat around drinking bad coffee and it was gonna be a woe is me and you know, feeling sorry for yourself. But some of my best friendships that I have to this day are from bariatric people that I met at support group. I had to get my head wrapped around the fact that it was gonna be a whole different lifestyle. Uh, different eating, different drinking, uh, different activity. Uh, so it was a whole psychological thing of changing not only habits but changing lifestyle altogether. I've had a lot of people say, what's your secret? And it's, there's no secret, it's a lifestyle change. It's committing to a new type of lifestyle that's gonna get you there. It's not just having your stomach shrunk. So I tell them my story and they always say, well, would you tell me to have it? And I always look them in the eye and say, I can't tell you to do anything. You're the one that's gotta make the choice. You're the one that has to be done living the life you're living and ready to commit to a new lifestyle.